The story of the Tupolev Tu-160, also known as the White Swan by Russian pilots and Blackjack by NATO, is one of mystery, power, and constant evolution in the world of strategic aviation. In a world where air superiority and long-range deterrence shape the balance of power, this aircraft has often been described as the crown jewel of Russia's bomber fleet. But what makes the Tu-160 even more fascinating in the year 2025 is not only its continued relevance but the upgrades and technological leaps it has undergone to maintain dominance in an era filled with fifth-generation fighters, hypersonic missiles, and advanced air defense systems. Imagine an aircraft capable of flying intercontinental distances at supersonic speeds, carrying an arsenal of weapons powerful enough to alter the course of any conflict, and doing all of this while being one of the largest and fastest bombers in the world. Today, we are going to dive deep into the specifications, innovations, and hidden strengths of the Tu-160 in its modernized form, and by the end of this video, you might find yourself questioning whether any air defense in the world can truly stand in its way. So stay tuned, because what you're about to learn goes far beyond just numbers on a sheet, it's about the future of aerial warfare. When we talk about the Tu-160's design, it is impossible not to marvel at its sheer size and aerodynamic elegance. At first glance, the aircraft looks like a blend between brute force and refined engineering, stretching nearly 54 meters in length with a wingspan that can extend up to 55 meters thanks to its variable geometry swing wing design. This system allows the Tu-160 to adapt its wings mid-flight, sweeping them back for supersonic dash or extending them outward for greater lift and fuel efficiency at lower speeds. By 2025, Russian engineers have refined the aerodynamics with modern composites and materials that reduce overall weight while strengthening structural resilience. The result is a bomber that can fly higher, farther, and faster than most of its competitors. Capable of reaching Mach 2 at high altitude, the Tu-160 isn't just a bomber, it's practically a supersonic fortress that blurs the line between a fighter jet speed and a heavy bomber's payload capacity. This combination makes it nearly untouchable in its class, and even the United States B-1B Lancer, which bears some visual similarity, falls short in terms of speed and payload capacity. Of course, no aircraft is truly defined without its engines, and the Tu-160 owes much of its reputation to the massive Kuznetsov NK-32 engines, which remain the most powerful engines ever mounted on a combat aircraft. In 2025, these engines have been modernized into the NK-32-02 variant, offering improved thrust-to-weight ratios, better fuel efficiency, and extended lifespan. Each of the four turbofan engines produces an astonishing 55,000 pounds of thrust, allowing the Tu-160 to perform long-range supersonic flights with heavy payloads without sacrificing speed or endurance. In practical terms, this translates to a combat range of over 12,000 kilometers without refueling, and with aerial refueling, the aircraft essentially becomes a global strike platform capable of reaching virtually any target on Earth. The integration of digital engine management systems has also improved responsiveness, allowing smoother transitions between different speed regimes. This matters not only for fuel savings but also for survivability, as the Tu-160 can now execute rapid acceleration to escape hostile airspace more effectively than ever before. But raw power is only one side of the story. In modern warfare, survivability is dictated as much by stealth and electronic warfare as it is by speed. While the Tu-160 was never designed as a stealth bomber like America's B-2 Spirit, the upgrades introduced in the 2025 variant, often referred to as the Tu-160M2, incorporate advanced radar-absorbing coatings, electronic countermeasure suites, and a significantly upgraded avionics package. These changes don't make the aircraft invisible, but they complicate detection and targeting processes for even the most sophisticated air defense systems. Russian engineers have integrated new electronic warfare pods and onboard jammers capable of blinding radar networks, while the modern cockpit now features glass displays, digital flight management systems, and advanced navigation aids powered by GLONASS and artificial intelligence-based systems. These enhancements make the Tu-160 not just a brute force bomber but a technologically intelligent platform, capable of outsmarting defenses as much as overpowering them. In a world where drones, satellites, and hypersonic threats are reshaping the battlefield, the Tu-160's ability to adapt to electronic warfare environments gives it a fighting chance to remain dominant well into the 21st century. Payload is perhaps the most terrifying aspect of the Tu-160's design. Even in its original form, the aircraft could carry an astonishing 40 to 45 tons of ordnance, making it the heaviest payload bomber in active service. 
By 2025, the arsenal it carries has evolved dramatically. The Tu-160M2 is now fully integrated with modern Russian cruise missiles, including the Kh-101 and Kh-102 series, which boast ranges of up to 5,500 kilometers and can carry either conventional or nuclear warheads. These missiles are designed to fly at low altitudes, evade radar detection, and strike with pinpoint precision. More recently, the Tu-160 has also been adapted to carry hypersonic weapons, including the much-feared Kh-47M2 Kinzel, capable of reaching speeds of Mach 10 and penetrating advanced missile defense systems. This combination of long-range cruise missiles and hypersonic projectiles means that the Tu-160 doesn't even need to enter enemy airspace to devastate strategic targets. It can remain thousands of kilometers away, launch its payload, and retreat before enemy defenses even have a chance to react. In essence, the aircraft functions as a flying deterrent, a platform whose presence alone can alter the calculations of military planners across the globe. The strategic role of the Tu-160 goes far beyond just dropping bombs or launching missiles. It is a symbol of national power projection, a flying embodiment of deterrence in an age where nuclear balance remains at the core of international security. In 2025, the Tu-160 has been positioned not only as a nuclear delivery system but also as a versatile platform for conventional long-range strikes, maritime patrols, and even testing next-generation weapon systems. Its ability to integrate with modern command and control networks ensures that it remains relevant in joint operations, allowing it to coordinate with satellites, ground-based radars, and other aircraft to strike in sync. Unlike tactical bombers or smaller fighters, the Tu-160 operates in the realm of grand strategy. Its missions are designed not just to win battles, but to prevent wars by making the cost of confrontation unbearably high for any adversary. This is why the aircraft is often showcased in Russia's most important military parades and exercises, its presence is both a reminder and a warning. As we look at the future of strategic bombers in 2025 and beyond, the question becomes less about whether the Tu-160 can survive on the battlefield and more about how it will adapt to the rapidly evolving landscape of aerial warfare. Hypersonic weapons, artificial intelligence, and advanced stealth systems are transforming the way nations think about air dominance. Yet, despite all of this, the Tu-160 has proven that with the right upgrades, even a design first flown in the 1980s can remain at the cutting edge of military aviation. This is a lesson not only about engineering but also about strategy, sometimes, evolution is more powerful than revolution. The Tu-160 represents a unique blend of old-world strength and modern innovation, a bomber that continues to redefine what strategic aviation means in the 21st century. But it also raises a provocative question, in a world where stealth and drones dominate headlines, is sheer speed, payload, and global reach still the ultimate trump card? And that brings us to the final question for you, the viewers, do you think the Tu-160, with all of its modernizations in 2025, still holds a decisive edge over American bombers like the B-2 Spirit or the upcoming B-21 Raider, or will it eventually be outclassed by stealth and next-generation technologies? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below, because this debate is far from over, and your insights might just spark the next big discussion in the world of military aviation. If you found this breakdown fascinating, make sure to subscribe for more deep dives into the most advanced machines ever built, and until next time, keep your eyes on the skies, because the future of warfare is already here, and it's flying at Mach 2.